thank you, Dee, for your courage. Yes. Thank all of you for speaking out for your courage. Next, we're going to have, and it's an honor to have Dr. Rouse, Chair of the American Clergy Leadership Conference, who's flown all the way here from New York to be here today. Yes, yeah. 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 I am Luan Abram Rouse, and I teach master and doctoral students of six continents from all across America transformational leadership. And I have come today after learning that one of the greatest transformational leaders is being treated unjust. Friend, Master J is a transformational leader yes, 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 yes. that we should no longer ignore in the United States of America. He's transformational because he is compassionate, he is concerned, he is cooperative with those who are ignored when they need to be a miss the Corporation of America. Yes, say that, say it. Grand Master J, yeah. when I looked into the situation, there is no obvious reason no. that he would be in prison. No. Thank you. So those of us who understand <clears throat> when a man stands with influence All right. to empower those who have been deprived of power, yeah. those who hold power, yeah wants to get rid of him. Oh yeah. We Preach. must Preach. not allow that to continue. Speak. Say it, say it. My wife and I, Marie, we are disciples <laughs> of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. And one thing we know from the teachings of Jesus Christ is that love must be for everybody. everybody. And that everybody. in the midst of that love for everybody, everybody. there is forgiveness for reconciliation. Yeah. But you have come here today to hear me announce to you that in the midst of that, forgiveness must not be premature. Yes. When forgiveness is premature, the person that is being forgiven do not think that they are wrong. So they will continue to do what they have always done. We got to stand for truth restoration yes. of the situation yes. and we must call on all of those with power and authority to do the right thing. Yes. Do yes. the right thing Yes. Now. Yes. But if they don't do the right thing, it will appear that we are doing the crazy thing. Yep. But sometimes you do the crazy thing, like looking through to see who is on that building yeah. that might shoot my people. Yeah. Right. That might seem crazy, right. Right. but it is the thing to do right. to yeah. protect your people. That's right. Yes. That's right. My brothers and sisters, say it. Say it, brother. I am a part of Rainbow Push Court. Listen, oh. I was at the birthday of our leader yesterday. He turned 81 years old. Oh. He has Parkinson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know that he would come to be with you in Louisville. Yeah. If things just wasn't like they are, I know because I worked with him as his chairman in New York and New Jersey and Connecticut for many years. Yes, sir. But I want to say this to you yes. about the civil rights situation. All right, all right. It is time for us to stand yes. together yes. or we will die yes. separated yes. by fools. Yes. We must stand as intelligent people together and demand the things that are right from the criminal justice system. The criminal justice system have two things that they should do. They find one of those things easy. That is to punish somebody. Take their rights from being free away. And oftentimes, 
they take those rights because they haven't done the first thing. The criminal justice system should be about prevention. Yes. They should have prevented Breonna Taylor. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's they right. They should have prevented the injustice that continues. That's right. That's right. That's then right. Then there would be no need for me to stand here, you to stand here, or 26 or more to be unjustly prisoned and Master J being there too. Brothers and sisters, we've got to tell this criminal justice system it's time that you work for us, yes. not against us. Yes, yes, yes. And then finally, I am here not alone. I am co-chairman of the American Clergy Leadership Conference. It's 6,000 and growing. In that conference is the Elliott Brothers. In that conference is Bishop Bernie Wade from Louisville. In that conference is a man who's standing opposite that tree. David Powell. David Powell. His skin is not dark like mine, but his heart is replete with love, overflowing with love for all people. I am also a steering committee member for the World Christian Leadership Conference. We go on every continent of the world, and our message is the same. I came to represent them here to say to every clergy person, let's spread it throughout America and the world. We cannot stand by and see a fellow clergy man in prison, not for doing a crime, but for political imprisonment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Set the political prisoners free. Yes, free them all, free them all. And then lastly, I want to join him in a teaching I know so well. I heard that he's been teaching about the eschaton. When I think about the eschatological future, Yes. I believe that Breonna Taylor is with our ancestors. Ancestors yes. from 1619. Ancestors who died in the civil rights movement. Ancestors like Martin Luther King Jr whose head was blown, but his heart still is alive with us today. And I believe that they are crying out, enough is enough, enough is enough. Free. free the voices the voices of free of free free the voices the voices of free of free 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 grand master, master j and do it now, now.